BD5 pilot with you out at the Hillsboro hangar on an early Tuesday morning. And uh, I'm looking over the uh, parts for the panel, the switches, and uh, some of the panel layout stuff and inventorying the uh, parts for those switches. So you may recall I mentioned that uh, Stan Smith out of 21st Century Aviation has these uh, aero rockers. They used to be the Avio rock rack switches. And uh, these are a nice quality switch that will handle a good amperage load if you are running electricity through them. I'm, uh, of course, using a, uh, a solid state system, vertical power VPX for my uh, aircraft. So uh, these are actually going to end up be, being what's called a grounding switch that then feeds through that solid state unit and then sends power out to the uh, um, units. But this gives me a good quality switch. It's going to give me reliability over a long term, a lot of uh, usages before a failure. And uh, some of them are momentary, some of them are single pole, uh, dual position, some are, are, uh, um, are actually double pole, dual position. Some of them are a three-way switch where I can uh, control different things. And I uh, noticed in my inventory, I'm missing my alternators uh, cover, but uh, all of the right side switches that deal with the uh, electrical system uh, for the ignition and the aircraft are going to be in red. On the left side, the uh, switches are all going to be in black. And uh, they control mostly the lighting, although all the fuel pump and the uh, electric uh, cooling fan ended up on this side as well. But this is where those dual position switches end up, where I can uh, turn the taxi on and then I can turn the uh, wigwag on with that taxi light. Or I can switch it to landing. Landing will be landing and taxi if I'm switched to that position. And then that recognition is where they, they flash in conjunction with the uh, strobes and the beacon on the aircraft. And, uh, and you'll recall that uh, while I'm laying out that main panel, the uh, locations here, this is all reversed because this is from the back side. The panel actually is going to be uh, reversed from that original layout so that I can uh, have. So if I flip this unit around this side, the left side above these uh, switches is where I have my ability to have my push pull for the uh, fuel valves to turn the right or left tank on or off. Uh, I'm uh, not sure if the aircraft is going to have a choke uh, on it. And then also I can do that vent as well from that part of the panel. So uh, these are my next things I have uh, working to cut out and do the layout. And a thought on this right side panel is whether I'm going to put, I'm going to spread these out a little further and put that alternator switch in the middle and run this in a, a triangle pattern here versus the vertical layout here or whether I'm going to go ahead and have them just uh, both in a vertical layout, two by two, uh, two side by side, and then three high. And uh, those are the considerations I have for uh, that part of the layout on the panel. And while I'm happy with the way that uh, panel layout is, uh, is ending up and uh, getting set for uh, cutting all that out so it's finalized, uh, I do still realize this hangar is just really too damn cold. And uh, so I'm talking to someone about uh, installing a heater in here so I can uh, have more than that little parabolic that uh, is good for warming my hands. For now, BD-5 Pilot is out.